Hey guys. So today I kind of wanted to hop on here and just have a chat with you. If you guys are new here, my name is Jennifer. I am a mom of three. Jane, who's in the first grade, she's six, almost seven. And then I have Jackson, who's four, and Piper, who is three. And Jackson and Piper stay home with me. I'm a stay-at-home mom, along with my YouTube channel. And then my husband also works from home. And I honestly have just been pulled to make this video. I feel like somebody out there needs to hear this. I don't have all of the answers for this. And you guys are probably like, what? What is happening? What are you talking about? I just wanted to share with you guys a realization that I've had in the last week or so probably or maybe month and i'm just making changes and feeling good about it and i wanted to share it with you guys so being a mom is hard i've said this before um so i've been a mom for almost seven years and i feel like i'm learning new stuff every single day every single day i'm learning new things but i feel like there are different milestones in being a mom and right now i feel like i'm in one because i'm making lots of chan changes and i just wanted to share it with you guys so whether you're a working mom or stay-at-home mom things may be different but i was always in the mindset in the past that all of my energy and my time need to go towards my kids my kids need me um, I have my YouTube channel and then also I'm like a clean freak. So I always feel like I'm cleaning or working when I'm at home. And being a stay-at-home mom, you think like, oh, I should be being with the kids or hanging out with the kids all the time. And that's the mindset that I had. So then when I did do YouTube work or when I was cleaning, I felt bad about it. So for the longest time, I would only clean when my kids were taking a nap or when they were sleeping and I would only do YouTube work besides filming during the day when they were sleeping or taking a nap. So pretty sure I just heard a huge crash. So hopefully everyone's okay. So just recently, like in the last two weeks, none of my kids take a nap anymore. So my time is shifting and my priorities are shifting and how I get things done is shifting. And I feel like this video is probably going to be all over the place because this isn't about one certain topic. I just wanted to share what's on my mind and how I've been feeling in the last few weeks. So now I don't have a time where uh, my kids are sleeping for me to clean or um, get anything done when I say clean some one specific thing comes to mind and that's cleaning the bathrooms I used to never clean the bathrooms when the kids were awake because I was always afraid they would come Get the cleaning supplies and like poison themselves or something I don't know why I always thought like I can't do this while they're awake like this is not happening, but I feel Different about that now I started probably a year ago. You guys know that I'm like a huge schedule person. I schedule when I'm cleaning what. I have a monthly cleaning schedule. I have a weekly cleaning schedule. I have a daily cleaning schedule, mainly for my mind so that I know like what was done last. Like when's the last time I vacuumed? Mm, I don't know, but now I know because I have my schedule. So that's one thing that I do like. But the other reason I like that is because I do schedule things on certain days so that I know I have other days to hang out with the little kids. Now, I'm sure I'll be making a video like this later when all three of my kids are in school and I'm just here at home doing work and cleaning and not having to raise little kids. But for now, the time is fleeting and I'm freaking out because I'm trying to figure it all out is basically what I'm trying to say. And I feel like other people feel the same way. So I'm just going to kind of tell you guys what I've been doing to manage my time. I kind of talked about this on Instagram a little bit. And I feel like I've kind of got things figured out for right now. The first thing is that I'm not a morning person. I hate waking up early. But I have to take Jane. We have to leave the house at like 7.20 to get Jane to school on time. And... In order for me to feel good about getting things done during the day, I need to have my morning coffee and I need to have some quiet time, some me time before any of my kids get up. Even on the weekends, if my kids wake me up, I'm just in a bad mood. 
You, my kids are screaming in the background. So I was waking up, getting myself ready for the day, having my coffee, and then like making Jane's lunch and getting everything done, making her breakfast, and then waking her up and leaving. But I've kind of taken it to a whole new level and I wanted to share it with you guys. So I wake up super early. I wake up at 5.15. I go brush my teeth. No, I don't brush my teeth. I go wash my face. Then I go out, I make Jane's breakfast, I make her lunch, I get everything ready, I make my coffee. Then I sit down for like 20 minutes. I drink my coffee, I do a daily devotional. Now if you're not religious in any way, you can scroll your phone, you can do whatever you want, but this really gets me in a good mindset. Um, I have a morning prayer, I really just soak in the quietness. And then I go outside and I go on a walk. For 20 minutes, I just walk around the neighborhood. I have fresh air. Sometimes I do like a light jog, but this isn't really like, I'm not trying to do this to lose weight or anything. I'm doing it to get some fresh air and I'm doing it to start my day off good. I feel more energized when my body, my heart rate goes up. You know, when you get that like workout high kind of thing. And then when I get home, I wake Jane up and get going for my day. This has changed my day dramatically. One, because I do try to work out once a day, and when I don't work out in the morning, and when I come home from taking Jane to school, and the two little kids are awake and ready to go for the day, it's hard for me to squeeze in any workout at all. It just is, that's just how I am. I can't squeeze it in, and if I don't get it done in the morning, then it usually doesn't get done. I've tried. It just doesn't. Two, I have my quiet time. I'm ready to go for the day and I just feel like my mind is right. So that's one thing. That's what I've been doing in the mornings and then when I get home, I just get my day going. You guys have seen my video. If you have not, I will maybe link it. It is the video of how I plan my days, how I plan my weeks, how I plan my month. So I always have a to-do list. I make it the night before. That way when I wake up, I know exactly what I need to do. It's in my head. It's written down. And so depending on what day it is, how much stuff I have to get done, I talked about this a little bit in a recent vlog. I basically just go through my day and try to get everything done, obviously. But... I don't give myself a hard time if it doesn't get done. And that's really hard for me, guys, because if there's something on a to-do list, I really want to cross that thing off. But I'm also feeling really burnt out. And I'm not going to lie, I have contacted a cleaning person because the clean freak that I am, I cannot relax and have quality time with my little kids if my house is dirty or if I know something on the to-do list needs to be done cleaning wise. So if I know all of the rooms need to be vacuumed, for some reason my brain cannot shut off and I cannot sit down with my kids until that's done. And I, it sounds terrible, but that's just how it is. And I've tried to change that and I can't. So part of me is like, well, how is the cleaning person really gonna help with that? Because I'm not gonna have somebody come once a day, that's for sure, not even once a week probably. But Maybe if um, I can get the cleaning person to do like some deep cleaning, I can know in the back of my head that the house is clean and I won't have as much on my list. So with my cleaning channel and everything, guys, that's really hard for me to admit that I'm looking into a cleaning person. I haven't found anybody yet. I haven't really talked to many people, but it's really on my mind. And something that I feel like if I can take that off my plate, I will feel a lot better. And I know a lot of you might not be like me. You might not care about the messes. It might not make a difference at all, but there might be something else on your mind. It might be something else that really prevents you from taking that time and feeling more relaxed or whatever. So I just wanted to share that too. Another thing that I never thought I would say is actually getting myself ready for the day. So this goes on, this goes along with the working out before taking Jane to school. So when I get up, remember I said I didn't brush my teeth. I wash my face because I do feel like my face needs to be washed right when I wake up. It helps me kind of wake up with the cold water and everything. I put on workout clothes. I do my walk. I take Jane to school. I come home. And sometime, usually when the kids are eating their breakfast, I sneak away and I get myself ready for the day. In the past, when I still have a workout on my to-do list and it is 11 o'clock and I still haven't done my workout and I think I'm gonna try to get it done, 
I don't ever get ready for the day. I don't ever do my makeup, don't do my hair. I'm wearing workout clothes all day. Now there's nothing wrong with wearing workout clothes all day. They're comfy. I still do it sometimes. But when I used to hear people say like, get up, put your makeup on, get dressed. You'll feel so much better about yourself. I'm like, I don't know. Cause I feel comfortable in, in my pajamas and I don't really even like, or my workout clothes. And I don't really even like doing my makeup or my hair. It just takes a long time. But I've tried it. And I'm telling you guys, I feel like my day is so much better when I actually have real clothes on and my hair is done and I feel confident because I have eyebrows <laughs> because otherwise if I don't draw them on, I don't have eyebrows. It's crazy to me that that's something. Like part of me is like, man, I should feel confident in my workout clothes. I should feel confident with no eyebrows on. But something about getting ready for the day and actually wearing real clothes really gives me some more energy and I feel confident when I go take Jane to dance I feel confident when I go to the grocery store I feel confident when I'm out and about and it's really changed so the fact that I work out in the morning it really just gives me that time to actually put on clothes do my hair take a shower even I take a shower probably once every three days but you know what I mean like I'm showering and getting ready like today i need to definitely take a shower soon because my hair is greasy but i did this cute little braid i have a little black jumpsuit on you can't see the whole thing i got a little necklace some earrings and i'm not gonna lie guys in the past if you ever saw me like this in a video is because i got ready just for the video i didn't get ready like this today for the video this is what i'm gonna look like today i got ready for myself got ready because i want to and i just happened to be filming this video so that just makes me feel so much better so another thing that i have been doing for a few months now and it's really been helping me is and i feel like maybe this can apply to other people that aren't on youtube but this is mainly for like people who are who are also YouTubers, but I don't do any work at all as far as editing after the kids go to bed, really after dinner. I used to do, like I said, all of my YouTube work when the kids were sleeping. So either during nap time or, here I have to move positions because my back is starting to hurt sitting down on the floor, or after they go to bed. And that really ruined, number one, Chris and I's relationship, and number two, my relationship with my kids putting them to bed because I would be putting them to bed. I knew in the back of my head, I had hours worth of editing to do. And they would want one more book. They would want me to lay with them and scratch their back. And I'd be like, I can't do this right now. I have work to do. You've got to go to bed. Like, and then I just felt terrible about that. I shouldn't have to do that. I should be able to read the extra book. I should be able to lay there and scratch their back. It's eight o'clock at night. My day should be over and it wasn't and i was just overwhelmed and stressed out and i would snap at them almost every single night and then my relationship with chris he's working all day long and then i'm like okay i gotta edit and for me when i edit i can't even have tv on like everything needs to be quiet and i need to concentrate on editing so he would just go lay in the bed and watch tv and then i would be editing for hours and then we would just go to sleep and we didn't ever have time together or we never watched shows together nothing so I decided to make that change a few months ago and I'm telling you guys, it has been amazing. I do have to find time during the day to edit and that can be really hard. I try to wake up maybe a little tad bit early or um, during the 20 minutes that I have with my devotion after that, I try to edit a little bit and then edit during the day. The kids still have like a tiny bit of quiet time or I take my laptop sometimes when I sit in the carpool line to, to get Jane. And it does make for a very busy day. Like my day, I don't really have time to like sit down during the day. I don't really have time to relax during the day. When before I kind of did, I was like, well, it's kids quiet time. I'll just sit here and watch a show. Like I don't do that anymore. But I do know that when the day is done, the day is done. And I'm not doing any more work after that. And there has been times where I'm like, ooh, a video is due tomorrow. I need to edit tonight. And I say, no, Jennifer, you're not editing tonight. You will wake up early and you will get your day started and you will edit as soon as you can in the morning. And it's worked out, it's been fine. So that's another thing. I don't know if you're a YouTuber, if you're not, or if you have some sort of like side business or something like that and you're 
working a lot at bedtime maybe again if you're a full-time working mom or something like that and you really don't have other time than to do it after bedtime i understand that too but this is just what works for me and has been great so these two next things are going to kind of contradict each other but i hope it makes sense so one thing is to have your schedule like i said mainly with like the cleaning stuff we have a cleaning schedule that way i know what i'm doing when i'm doing it and then i also know when to stop because if i didn't have a schedule i'd be like oh and i gotta clean this now i gotta clean this now this looks like it needs to be clean now this so instead I have like one or two things I do each day and then some days I have nothing. That way I know those days are designated to like help Jackson with his letters or um, take the kids to the playground or something like that. And I like knowing that there are designated days just for the kids. That way, again, I'm not like getting overwhelmed and totally ignoring the kids every single day of the week. And I'm like, man, I haven't done anything with the kids. Like I've just been cleaning and doing YouTube all day and I haven't done with anything with the kids all week. So I like that. But then also, like I said, this is going to be contradicting is to be flexible and give yourself grace. Like I said earlier in this video, if something can't get done or if something else pops up and, um, or if you're tired or not feeling great, or if your kids really are acting like they need you, it's okay to give yourself grace and say, you know what, I'm going to do this tomorrow. Or you know what, I'm only gonna clean two of the bathrooms today and then I'll just do the rest tomorrow. Or you know what, I don't feel like doing anything today and I'm not gonna do anything. So I've been trying to do that too because that's really hard for me. I'm a real, I'm a scheduled person and like I said, I like to cross those things off my to-do list. But what I do is if I feel like I can't get that done today, I put a little check mark by it. That way I can totally skip over it when I look at my to-do list anymore that day. I know. It's not crossed off, but it has a check mark, and I'm going to totally glance over that. I'm going to go to the next few things that I have to get done, and I'll worry about that tomorrow. So that's pretty much it. I wanted to share two things that really gave me the feels the last few days, and I can't remember where I saw. I remember I saw one on my friend Katie's Instagram. Um, her thing is now that I'm a mother. I did a collab with her on my Cleaning the Chaos channel, I think last week or the week before. And someone messaged her because she was feeling a little down too about like being a mom and having time. And it said, we tend to measure our obstacles against our own strength rather than the size of our God. Thus, we often feel overwhelmed and defeated before the battle even begins. And I struggle with that, guys. I often look at my to-do list and I'm like, ooh, this and then I just feel totally overwhelmed as soon as I wake up and I'm like this isn't gonna be good or I just I'm not gonna have time to do anything today because I'm just gonna be cleaning I'm not saying God cleans my house like that not that's not what I'm trying to say what I'm trying to say is God only gives us what we can handle and I do believe that he gives me the strength and the energy throughout the day to get the things done and he also helps me in my head have the grace for myself I feel like the kids I turned down one of the monitors but now there must be in Jane's room to really help me I feel like the kids just ruined that whole moment but that really spoke to me and I hope that that speaks to you too and then the other one is I hope I can read my handwriting this one really got to me and I'm like I have to remember this every single day we always work for a better tomorrow but when tomorrow comes Instead of enjoying it, we again look for a better tomorrow. Let's have a better today. So that's my life. I'm always like, oh, that thing on the to-do list, I'll do that tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes, I'm like, oh, here's my other to-do list. Let's work hard because I wanna get all this stuff done. And then I get it done by the time bedtime and I go to bed and then I wake up and I have another to-do list. That's why I feel like I need to eliminate some things. That's why the cleaning person might come into handy because we're always working for a better tomorrow and then tomorrow comes and then we're like, let's work for a better tomorrow. When are we gonna enjoy right now? So I hope that I didn't just speak all over the place. I feel like this was just like a therapy session for myself and now I just feel so much better. But I also feel like someone might have wanted to hear that or needed to hear that. Thank you guys always for watching. Thank you for supporting me. Obviously I work really hard on this channel and I really do try to do this 
clean my house, take care of my children, raise my children, help them with their extracurricular activities, love my husband, all of that stuff. It's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. And I'm really just learning the balance of it. And I'm really learning to take it all in. And I'm sure I'll be on here in another two years when my kids are all in school saying what I do now and what's happening now or what other realization I've come up with. But for now, that's the space I'm in and I just wanted to share with you guys. I love you and I will see you in my next video.